Do I like this angle though? Lights off? Yes. Lights off? No. I'm too white. Why am I so white? my channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. Molly, were you not just here last week? Well, Pet, you're not wrong, but I am uploading weekly videos now, so you're gonna see a lot more of me. Are you buzzing or are you buzzing? So if you watched my last video, you will know that I said I wanted to do more reviews because I believe they're like the basis for bloggers. And since I'm a blogger, kind of, I feel like I should upload a review on this channel at some point in its existence. <laughs> so I was in England over the summer and I went to Miss Selfridges and there was a makeup section and in the makeup section there was little Zoeva stand and your girl lost her shit. At the time the only brushes I had were a couple from Real Techniques which are really good and then some really 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 old ones from a set that my granny got me when I was in first year off eBay. And I guarantee you, although professional was in the title, they are probably definitely not. So I bought the Zoeva Rose Golden Volume 2 Luxury Brush Set. That's the official name. There are eight pieces in it and I bought it for 64 pounds in England, which in Euro, that's like 77.30 to be exact, if my calculations are correct. In Ireland, I don't actually know where you can buy them, but I know on websites like beautybay.com you can, and they nearly always have some form of free delivery, so you're sorted. They work out at like less than 10 euro a brush, so to me, that's a really, really good value, especially for face brushes where you could be paying anything from 20 to 30 euro for a decent one. I just want to quickly say that this video is in no way sponsored by Zoeva, because like, come on, it's me, but hey Zoeva, if you want to hit me up, I'm not gonna say no. Hmm. So good. So the set has eight brushes in this beautiful rose gold bag. And I always keep all my brushes in this now because I'm, I'm traveling to and fro college every weekend. So this bag just makes it so handy because it carries all my brushes and it's rose gold. So it's so pretty. But yeah, you can't really go wrong because it's really handy like. So I'm just gonna talk you through each brush and give you my personal opinion on them. They're all rose gold and, and like, beautiful and uh, also I'd just like to apologize because I used them like half an hour ago to do my makeup so they're not clean they're um, actually quite dirty at the moment Oops. <laughs> please forgive me the first face brush is called the 104 buffer brush this is it this brush is the best foundation brush I have ever tried it's massive and it's silky and it feels lovely when you're like buffing it all over your face you know it makes foundation application so easy. The next brush is the 126 Lux Cheek Finish. And this is just your basic powder brush that you can use for everything from setting your foundation to bronzing to blushing. I just put it in my cheek. Ugh. But yeah, I think these are a necessity and like essential, 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 whichever, essential to every brush set. This one is a really nice one and I would honestly pick this over all the other powder brushes that I have tried. Like it does shed, it sheds like one to two hairs like every couple of weeks but like I shed more of it and it's really not that big a deal for me. It's not big enough that I wouldn't repurchase this. So just a little heads up. The last face brush in the set is probably my second favourite brush out of the whole set and it's called the 109 Lux Face Paint. This is a bomb ass contour brush. Top quality, no shed, 
perfect density, 100% slay. My contour game is always strong when I use this. But if you want a contour cut like a knife, you need this brush. But remember, you only need to use really light pressure because if you go too hard, it's gonna come out muddy and that's, that's not cute. But if you like it muddy, you do you, honey, okay? Okay, moving on to the eye brushes. The first one is the 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush. And uh, it looks like these. No focus? Okay. Sorry, intermission, I'm having a deep break now. I dribbled. <laughs> Poor Beyonce. Oh yeah, this is Beyonce's top eye pack. I looked like an American footballer when I did that. I looked like I had massive shoulders, but I swear to God, I'm way more petite than that. <laughs> so yeah, this is the perfect size shader brush in my opinion. Like, they got it just right. I use this for packing loads of colour on my lid, or you can even use it for like pressing glitters and pigments on your lid. It's great for that. Then there's the 228 Lux Crease Brush. This one fits my eye size so well. This brush is what they use to blend the gods, believe me. It literally blends into nothing. And if you're into eyeshadow, you're gonna know what I mean. It could blend blacks into whites. It's that good. By far the best blending brush I've ever used. <coughs> um, okay, the next brush has drastically improved my smoky eye game. It's the 226 smudger brush and I use this just to blend out under my eyes. It kind of makes your eyes look like really seductive but not in an overly sexualized way, just in like a cheeky way. Is that even a thing or am I just putting words on things that should not be described? But yeah, I just like smoking out under the eye because I like the way that it looks and this brush does it so well. My favorite colors to smoke out under my eyes are like oranges, deep purples, and like obviously black because we're classy around here, aren't we girls? <laughs> oh, I dropped one! Oh, okay. This brush is for all y'all girls who like Le Flitte Brow. I just said y'all. As you can see, my eyebrows are very overdrawn, but that's the way I like them. So if you thought they were naturally like this, then I'm sorry, sweetie, but not a chance. <laughs> no, it takes like a good 10 minutes for me to do my eyebrows on a good day. Like honestly, brows are everything to me. And without a good brush, I'm fecked, so she saves me. Oh, it's the 322 brown line brush, just by the way, <laughs> might wanna know. I'm itchy, but I don't want to ring my makeup. Okay, moving on to the last brush from the set that I'm going to talk about. The 317 Wing Liner Brush. This is actually the smallest, thinnest, most precise eyeliner brush I have ever held in my hand. Like, I don't know if you can see that right now, but it's so thin. I use this when I want the Vera Wang. You know, like the really sharp ones that cut backstabbers out of your friendship group. These are so aggressive. I love it. Okay, so that's all the brushes I wanted to show you from the Zoeva Rose Golden Volume 2 set. I just had this one little random heartbreaker that I wanted to throw in here for good measure. It's the Zoeva 129 Lux Fan, but it doesn't work like that. This is one of them ride or die highlighter brushes. It just turns me on. This makes me so aroused. It looks professional. It feels so nice on your face. It gives you that kind of snow princess, fairy, blinding highlight that I want every day for the rest of my life. This brush is like 11 pounds. So in Euro, I think that's 13, 14, 15 now push. I don't really know. But yeah, so worth it. An important thing to note with these brushes is that although they are beautiful, stunningly gorgeous brushes, they have white hair bristles. Like I have a hair in my mouth. Meh. They have white hair bristles, which means they're gonna get stained really easily and look dirty after one use. So that's either they're gonna really annoy you or it's gonna make you wash your brushes more often, which is actually really good and more hygienic for you. God dang it, they're just amazing. Like sometimes I'll sit down at my dressing table ready to do my makeup and they're just there waiting for me. Like, girl, we here, we ready, we got your back. Slay all day. Sometimes I think they're my best friends. Like, 
sometimes. So yeah, in conclusion, that sounds like an essay now, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. These brushes are fabulous. They're absolutely stunning. Any dressing table would be honored to have these babies. Amazing quality, amazing value for your dollar or your euro. So yeah, if you wanna step up your makeup game a bit, brushes are honestly so important. If your birthday is coming up or you know, you deserve a little bit of a treat, whack these on your shopping list and trust me, you won't regret it. But yeah, that's this week's video. Just a little bit of a review on the Zoeva Rose Golden Volume 2 set. Yes! Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like or a thumbs up. Um, I just wanna say thank you so much for everyone that did a thumbs up on my last video because right now it's at like 40 thumbs up and normally I get about 10. So <laughs> thank you very much from that because it's just showing you kind of like it and it's really, really encouraging to go on and make more videos and you know, your girl needs all the motivation she can get. So thank you for that and thank you to everyone who commented on it and were writing such nice things. It made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So thank you for that. Feel free to like this video and um, feel free to stalk me on all my social medias because honestly, that's one of my favorite pastimes social media stalking um, I'm actually quite good at it and chances are I've probably stopped you sitting there watching this. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you can give us a like on Facebook, uh, it's all at Modarina underscore. Follow me on Snapchat, um, I Snapchat quite a lot, it's at Modarina Snaps, original I know. Yeah, I Snapchat quite a bit, it's mostly just selfies and um, videos with filters on them of me like singing along to songs. But sometimes I do the odd interesting thing on it or I will talk about what I'm using and stuff like that. So I don't know, lots of people message me on it asking for advice and like about makeup stuff. So I feel like it's a little bit of a community that we got going on. So please help me grow that. I think that's all for this outro, okay. Bye. I don't want to end it really awkwardly now because I've been really good about not being awkward throughout the whole video. So I'm just gonna say goodbye. Have a good one. See you later. <laughs>